What's up everybody, this is Jay again. It's over here doing some dishes. Figured I'd uh, make a little video, some things I got to say, right? Uh, and if you're watching this on TikTok, if you want to see the whole thing, because I'm sure it's going to be more than three minutes, go on over to Sandwich Hurt Me Knots on YouTube. I'll post a full video there. If you're on my Instagram, you might be able to see the whole thing, depending on how long it is, but I kind of got a bit to say on this subject, so we'll see what happens, right? Anyways, I hope you guys are all having the best of days. Let's keep it going, right? So, I got some thoughts on the division, not only of us Americans, but of people in general, right? You got so many different narratives out there, whether it be from the media, whether it be from the government, whether it be from different types of people themselves. It doesn't matter. Everybody's got something different to say, and everybody's got an opinion on it, right? Like, even this video here, I'm sure I'll get some negative. Nancy's got something to say about it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, speak what you will. I'm all about free speech. I'm all about your own opinion. I'm all about freedom of choice here. Uh, and so you don't have to believe like I believe in order for us to get along. You don't have to have the same views that I have in order for us to get along, right? This is what's important to me because, okay, so look. So I was watching. I got a new dude I'm following up on uh, Instagram. His name is, uh, let's see if I can, his name is uh, 50 Cal 14 is his, is his screen name. He just happened to come across my page and so I got to watch some of his videos. Uh, and the dude speaks some sense, right? But I noticed that a lot of the, the comments that he was getting on some of, some of his videos is just ignorance from both sides of, of the fence, right? Right now, I happen to be talking about the racism thing because that's what's dividing us the most. Well, that's what we are allowing ourselves to believe is dividing us the most, okay? Because truthfully, until you've experienced some real racism, you don't even know what racism is. I'm not talking about what, what people want to talk about, white privilege. I'm not talking about uh, somebody feeling uncomfortable around a black person. Yeah, that's bigotry. And yeah, you can call it mild racism, okay? But until you've been, say, for, like, my experience, until you've done some time in the prison system, especially the federal prison system, uh, Utah State, things, places like this, you don't even know what real racism is. Uh, in there, it's hardcore. Like, hardcore on all sides. No matter what color skin you have, there's a lot of hate in there. And call it... Use whatever word you want to. You can call it racism. You can call it bigotry. You can call it white privilege, black privilege. Okay, that's not really a thing. I understand that. However, rich privilege is. And no matter what color you are, uh, if you've got money, then you're pretty much good to go as far as your privilege setting. That don't mean you're going to be happy. That don't mean everything's going to go your way. But if you've got some money sitting in your wallet... One of them fat ass bank accounts, your the chances of you having that privilege are a whole lot more than us poor folk. Straight up, okay? Uh, now, that's not to take anything away from anybody either. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. I'm not here to make excuses. I'm not here to say, oh, poor me, you're blaming me for what my ancestors did. I can give a damn what my ancestors did, okay? To be honest, I don't know anybody past my grandparents on both sides. Uh, it's all a big family secret. So who knows what it is that my grandparents did. Maybe it really is a family secret. Maybe they just really don't know about their ancestry. I don't know. But however it comes around, I don't know. So I don't give a damn what my ancestors did. I don't give a damn uh, as far as today's world goes um, about taking credit or not taking credit or anything else. For what happened in the past. Here's what I'm going to tell y'all straight up. And you can like it or not. America began and was on some fucked up shit. All the way around. Okay. Uh, but we also are the ones who got it changed. And yeah. It took some time. Don't get it wrong. It took some time. And it's still in the process. But at this point in time. We're not making things any better. Uh, by spreading this hate. Because hate is what it is. Hate is what it boils down to. Hate for somebody's skin, hate for somebody being different, hate for somebody having different beliefs. Uh, 
Religion is a big thing too, right? I'm a heathen. I don't give a damn what you believe in. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. I don't care about your skin. I don't care about your sexual preference. What I care about is how you treat me. Period. Bottom line, me and, and my family. If you are good to us, then we will all be good to you in return. That's the bottom line. And I don't give a damn what background you come from. It really makes no difference whatsoever. Now... So what if I, 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 right? I can say until I'm blue in the face, uh, or purple since that's the color I like, until I'm blue in the face about what I do and what I would do and what I've done and how I've learned, right? But how, how uh, that's kind of selfish right there because it doesn't do you any good, okay? And this is what I'm going to tell you. How much energy do you expend on anything negative? End of the day, you're getting ready for bed, and your day's just been shit, and you haven't, you just let it be shit. All this negative shit has happened, all this bad shit has happened to you, and you just let it go, let it go, because, uh, or, or feed into it, um, let yourself get all heated and mad about it, and then you go to bed at night, and your day, you are just exhausted, and if not physically, mentally, but usually both, right? Emotionally, especially, okay? For sure. So, what good... Is that doing you? Feeding into the negative, feeding, feeding into the hate, feeding into the bullshit that's got you turning your head and feeling some kind of way because somebody else tried to say something, right? So, and then you think about how if you are, and maybe this, maybe for a lot of people, you ain't here yet, right? And I understand that. But I will tell you from experience that if you can take that negative and just ignore it, just let it shine on, uh, and whoever, whoever it is that's talking, whoever it is that's commenting on the video, whoever it is that is uh, trying to push your button, and just let them push, let them do whatever, because it really doesn't matter. First of all, whatever people are saying or doing really means your business, right? Your business is your own, and there should be there. Of course, we all want to put everything on social media and look at my app, look at my page. I put all kinds of shit on my page. Uh, because that's what I'm choosing to do, right? But when somebody else, like if I'm scrolling and checking out other people's pages, and they got something on there that I don't agree with, number one, it ain't my job to correct it. It ain't my job to uh, let them know how wrong they are, whether they are, whether I feel that, whether they believe the same thing as I do or not, whether they act the same way as I do or not, it's not my business to fix anybody else. Okay? My business is to put some feel good shit out there and get you people to think, right? Because I've done some thinking and I've got myself to realize it. And so if I can put some things out there to, to share with everybody, uh, Say you guys, you people, like I am accusing anybody, and by you people, I mean you, you should, I mean anybody, you think crazy. Uh, I mean, seriously, like, we are just not in a really good place in the world because everybody is trying to spread the hate. Tell me that spreading the trying to spread some positivity around, say, is a waste of my time, or um, that I'm doing it the wrong way, that what I'm spreading isn't really positivity, but uh, some kind of backwards ass message or whatever, right? You can feel your way. And, and I'm one of those people who I welcome all comments, okay? Uh, I uh, got a little YouTube channel, and on one of my videos, I posted a video, and I was talking about um, black people as well as white people. Well, I got happened to have black family, and when I mentioned we were talking about religion, and I said the black side of my family, uh, somebody got on there uh, on my comments, told me that he didn't think that I was a racist from my videos or anything like that, but that my choice of words wasn't the best, okay? By saying black, and I guess instead of black people, or just whatever, right? Well, first off, um, 
I refer to my family as they refer to themselves. And they are family, so it's not like, like I'm talking family since I was five, okay? So it's not like it's a, there's any kind of misunderstandings or anything like that with them. But with other people, there might be. And so I took that into account. I thank the gentleman for his opinion. And uh, now if I'm referring to a certain race of people, then uh, I try to be conscious of how I refer to them just to make sure. Because I'm not trying to offend anybody by mistake, okay? Now, I am trying to offend you dudes that are out there spreading hate. And I don't care what color you are, okay? I don't care if you want to be a white supremacist. Be a white supremacist. Uh, I don't care if you want to be if you're one of those folks who dislikes or hates all white people. That's fine too, okay? Uh, if I come, if I scroll across her page, I just scroll right by it. If it got some kind of negative message on it, if it ain't making me laugh, making me smile, or making me think, then I just don't care to spend my time on it because it's a waste of my time, right? And it's not really my business. And this is the point. We are all up in each other's business, especially with social media nowadays, now, nowadays right? Uh, and everybody's got something to say, and everybody wants to be top king. But you know what? You get somebody like, okay, so i seen a video posted by, by my dude that I'm talking about, uh, 50 Cal, um, posted about, oh, it was a black lady who got on there, and it was talking about some... <sighs> Didn't get to see the whole video because it was just a clip of her. But I believe she was talking about women's rights and women's being stronger. Now, she was a black lady. And I don't know that uh, I didn't watch her whole video. Like I said, it was only a clip before it got to this other dude popping up on there. Calling her Aunt Jemima and everything else with a flag in the background. Well, let me tell you. First off, for all you dudes that are flying American flags, acting like... Immigrants and everybody else ain't a part of this country. Fuck you because you got it wrong And I'm gonna say that straight up and I don't care if you like it. Okay, America was built on Im immigrants Remember there is no original Americans besides the ones who came over from uh, The UK Britain and all these Europe uh, where everybody was a racist anyways over there, so um, You guys over here acting like racism is a part a proud part of America, not listening. It's just a way to spread the hate. It's a, it is a part of how America became. Because we, if the people that came over, just because they decided they didn't want to pay taxes, they didn't want to be a part of Europe anymore, uh, didn't mean that they left all those beliefs. Straight up, all of them talking about God this, God that. Uh, let's spread the hate. Because that's exactly what it is. Those of you who want to act like America belongs to white folks or anything else like this, y'all got it wrong. Okay? That ain't the way these things need to be. Uh, and really, really, honestly, uh, I've met more piece of shit white dudes uh, than I have anybody. Now, of course, maybe that's because outside, um, when you're in prison, you associate with your own race the most, okay? Whether it's something that you got planned to do or just something that works out that way, that is the way that it works out. So, uh, call it what you will, uh, I've associated with more white people than I have any other race. Therefore, I have met more pieces, white pieces of shit than any other race. That's just the way things go, all right? Uh, people are people, though, okay? Because I've met some really, really good white dudes, too. I've met some white dudes that have been through it um, and know what's up. And I met some white dudes uh, that are horrible. Now, for every race of people that I've associated myself with, and I can't name one that I haven't, I've met the same. Okay, straight up. We all got pieces of shit because we're fucking people, and that's the way these things work, okay? Uh, straight up. Now, back to my ancestors, though. You can... Anybody can say something about white people's ancestors. We know that we did some fucked up shit when we came to this country and before that and everything else. Uh, but blaming today's day and age, I believe that it's real easy to pick a racist out of the crowd, okay? And if you really want to pay attention to all white folks 
and see how we act, just the same as any color, folks, and see how we act, you will see the ones who are full of hate. So call it racism, call it whatever you want, I call it hate, okay? Straight up, because it's, that's all it is, is spreading the hate. Giving people, giving people a reason to fight, giving people a reason to believe that we are all against one another. Well, we're not. Uh, in general, not at all. But that's not to say there's not racist, and that's what I'm saying. There are, there definitely are. But you can also definitely pick them out of a crowd and know who's who, okay? Just because a dude's got tattoos, a beard, a bald head, and white skin doesn't make him a racist. Believe that. But now, if I'm sitting in a crowd banging on somebody, being a bully, well, they're not spreading hate. That's doing the same thing. It doesn't matter, okay? You're talking on social media. Man, all you got to do is go to somebody's page and watch what they're posting to see uh, where their feelings are coming out. Because, boy, I tell you, people are, uh, they're brave on social media. It's like, uh, it's like the anonymous thing. You know, you got a screen name. Nobody knows your address. Uh, you can say whatever you want and have this big old fight on social media. So, everybody's, all of your followers and all the other people's followers that are seeing the comments are like, oh, let's go see this. And yeah, blow up that way if you want to, okay? Look, it. no matter what we've done in the past by who, my job here and now is to spread positivity. That's the way I feel. If we all were to get together, think about this. If we were all to get together and just start spreading positivity, and don't give me that shit about, well, not everybody's going to. You're right. Not everybody's going to. You may get a uh, handful of racists, handful of haters on every side, right? And they're going to spread, spread the... the uh, Spread the hatred between us to keep us divided. Because keeping us divided is what they're really about. Believe this. It's besides the media spreading the stupid racist narrative, okay? Uh, the government knows that as long as there is dissent between the people, we will need them to step in. As long as we need them to step in, they have the right to tax our asses for their hundred something thousand dollar paychecks every year, okay? Uh, you don't need the government, then what are we paying them for, okay? But as long as they can keep this, this hate spread amongst us, keep telling us that it's that you don't like me because I'm white and I don't like you because you're not white, uh, then they're needed. If we can't do it on our own, like some men, then the government's needed. The government will always have that paycheck coming no matter what. That control that they have over, especially us as Americans. I don't know how other countries are. America's the only country I've been to. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, on my social media, I've actually seen a couple things posted about America um, that other people that other people have seen in America that they're not from America talking about they, they don't do that in any other country which just blows me away because it's so normal here. Some of these different things. Uh, pharmaceutical commercials being one of them, which that just blew me away. Uh, but you know, it's not something that we have to allow to continue, is my point, okay? So, you got, you got the government spreading this. And I'm not saying Democrat. I'm not saying Republican. I'm either. I barely got involved in politics here in the last 10 years or so and uh, started paying attention. And to be honest, I still don't like each side, okay? I know that any news I watch is going to fall to twist my brain either to the right or to the left. I understand that. That's just the way it is. Uh, and so I think for myself, I vote on every single issue for that issue. I don't give a damn if it's a Democratic or Republican case point or whatever. I vote on what I feel for the issue. Specifically, for each person, I do all kinds of research on that person, both the white man, the old and the old, uh, to see what their, their, their political issues are, where they want to vote, where they vote in the past. These are important issues that you're voting because just to say, oh, uh, Hillary's running for a Democrat, and I'm a Democrat, so I'm going to vote for Hillary. Donald Trump's running as a, as a, 
as a Republican, and I'm a Republican, so I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. That's just some ignorant shit right there, no matter how you look at it, okay? There is no, no point in... There is no point in life if you are following along blindly and not making your own choices, okay? As long as that's what we got going on, America is doomed, okay? I hear all these people talking about a sign for a civil war and uh, you got black lives matter versus all lives matter and whatnot. Well, you know what? It's just a joke. It's, it's arguing points that they are putting out for us so that we can stay divided, okay? Do black lives matter? Goddamn right black lives matter. Do white lives matter? Yes, white lives matter too. And yeah, we may have done some fucked up shit in our past. Uh, personally, I've done some real fucked up shit in my past, but uh, I atone for that on my own, okay? I've done time for everything that I've done, so I atone for that on my own. But as far as my ancestors go and whatnot, what is the point and you hating me for something that these dudes did a couple hundred years ago, right? Don't make any sense. Now, if the people that I'm hanging out with, if my friends or even my family that I claim is doing some shit, being some kind of racist, acting some kind of way about some things, okay, now you've got some personal reason to put me in that car with them because I am just hanging out with them and not doing anything to change it. that from me, which you will never see that from me because I don't associate myself with negativity, then there's no reason for you to hate me. Uh, man, we could, we could chop it up, we could play some games, we could play some sports, we could have some beers, we could smoke some weed, whatever it is that we do together, uh, and you could be missing out, straight up missing out because, you know, I'm all about the positivity, and if you like to smile, if you like to laugh, then I'm a good dude to be around. If you need somebody loyal around you to have your back, well, guess what? If you're a good dude, if you are straight up, then I'm that dude also, okay? That's the way this world can work for everybody. Yeah, you've got to pick and choose. Of course I pick and choose because I got a lot of people that I know that are just hateful people. And yeah, I have to associate with them. Does not mean that I am friends with them, right? Now, and don't get this wrong. I'm not accused of anything. Um, nobody has got up on my on any of my videos. You know, my whole tens and tens of followers that I got, nobody's got up on my videos and said anything negative to me. Um, nobody's gotten up on my Instagram or my YouTube and said anything ignorant because I don't put that kind of vibe out, okay? If we all turn that vibe around, if all of us turn around and be like, no, nah, I'm cool, I don't need this hate, this is all a bunch of bullshit, and there ain't no need for me to be involved in it, then guess what's going to happen to the narrative that they're trying to spread? What's, it's going to disappear, okay? If we don't buy into it, if you get up on people's shit, and their social media will say, and leave some positive comments, whether, whether it's just something funny, whether it is something that makes sense to you, whatever, leave something positive, right? Then, uh, that's going to spread. You get the posts out of the negative people. Well, guess what? Those are the ones that are easy to uh, to differentiate. You can see on their posts that they got some negative shit going on and that they want more negative shit to continue, okay? Scroll past it. Ignore it. <laughs>
of what the hell, where did that come from, okay? Literally. And like I said, I don't care if it's right wing or left wing. It really doesn't matter. It's the people who count. Every single person is different. Even twins got some differences, okay? So, to say that the difference in the color of skin or sexual preference um, is so harsh that we can't deal with it on our own is just ridiculous. I mean, really. Like, how hard is it to, uh, if you are not gay and that bothers you, okay? And, and if gay is not the right word, don't take offense to it. Just understand that it's not really, um, I, I just don't know. And so don't, don't go trying to take offense to it. But if you prefer men or you prefer women as a woman, as a man as a man, uh, or you see somebody who does is my point and, and it bothers you that they do, then why are you looking at them? Okay, why would you even, if it bothers you so bad that you feel the need that you might need to say something, why wouldn't you just walk away from the whole thing? Be done with it, right? But no. friendship because I'll be damned if I don't do everything that I can to earn yours if that's what I'm choosing to do okay but the hate is unnecessary no matter what you don't have to like somebody necessarily in order um, in order to get along with them and in order to work with other people in the world you don't have to like everybody that you run into but it's a lot easier just to deal with somebody you don't like on that business level if need be and ignore the rest of them than it is to engage in some kind of negativity with this person or people because what good does that do in the end? Really, what good does it do in the end? Protect yours, protect your loved ones if need be, always, always, okay? But remember, as Americans, black, white, brown, whatever color there is out there, it doesn't make a difference. We are all Americans. And look at whether we were born here, whether we immigrated here, because I know my grandparents immigrated here um, at some point. Um, it doesn't matter. I was born here, so I'm an American. That means if you were born on American soil or you come over and made this hell of an effort to become an American citizen, then you've got that American pride, that American, that American love from me, no matter what. Um, I don't have to like you as a person. But you're an American, so you're an American. And I'm sure these other countries, if they don't do it, would benefit from doing, from having that pride in their country. Because otherwise, why do you live in a country if you can't have some pride in it? But having pride in who you are doesn't mean that you have to hate others who are not you or don't believe like you. Straight up, you guys. Let's think about this, okay? Uh, how hard is it 
How hard is it to scroll by when the time comes, when you run into something that you don't agree with? It's not really that hard. It's just, you know, flip up, flip up, flip up. It's real damn easy. Okay, straight up. So don't don't get it twisted on it being this big, hard thing. No, nah, look it. It ain't your business. So mind your business. Unless it's affecting you personally, um, then mind your business. And if you have an opinion, like, you know, right? I know right now they got the voting law things out. Everybody's got a different opinion on that. You got the whole immigration thing. Everybody's got a different opinion on that. And I can give you my own opinions on it if you wanted to hear it. But really, that's my business. And it's not something I'm choosing to share as of yet. Because why? It doesn't matter what my opinion is. It really doesn't. Until it comes time to vote, then my opinion matters. Unless I'm trying to get some, get you guys to see something. But on these two issues, I don't really care. On the racist issue, issue, I do care because I'm always personally involved. Because look at me. I'm white. I got tattoos. I've been in prison. I got a beard. I got a bald head. Uh, so I'm the stereotypical uh, racist for sure, for sure. Unless you know me. Okay? Unless you know who I am and where I came from and what I'm doing today. Uh then it's not so obvious, then it's not so stereotypical, but it's too easy to fall into that where we see this dude, oh, this black dude, he's from the hood, oh, this Mexican dude over here, he must be illegal, oh, this white dude over here, he's a racist, look, that shit is ridiculous, I grew up in the hood with no money, uh, and so, you know, it, you can't look at somebody, you know, the whole judge a book by its cover bullshit, nah, you can look at me all you want to. Listen to what I got to say and then you can make your judgments on it. Come over to where I'm at, shake my hand, have a conversation with me and then you can make some judgments on me that I would actually worry about. Uh, as of right now though, what does it matter? What do I care if you're full of hate or not? It's really not my business. What I want is to spread my positivity so that you guys can see that it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Really. Check out my Instagram. Check out my damn uh, TikTok. Sam or Serve Me Nots. Um, I, post, I post my life so that you guys can see living poor <laughs> and still being happy is not really hard to do. Because it's not about the money. Um, not that I don't have things invested and I'm not trying to come up. Of course I'm trying to come up. Of course I'm doing everything legally that I can. Everything legally that I can to make sure uh, that my life is and what I leave for my kids will be better than what I've lived in the past, right? And so that's fine. But it's not about the money. It's not about anything except for uh, putting positivity out into the world because for me... The more I put out there, the more that comes back. This is why I talk to you guys. This is why I get up in the mornings, give a little picture of the sunrise or whatever, tell you to have a good day. This is why I do my little morning TikToks and tell everybody to start out choosing to have a good day because it is our choice. And I am all about choice regardless of what that choice is or what it's about. Personal choice. And if you choose to hate somebody, if you choose to be a racist, if you choose to be just a hater in general, then that's on you. That's when your business is no longer my business unless you come to me with it and I just walk away so that I'm not a part of that negativity. It's not that hard to do. All right, you guys, straight up, I love you all. If you listen this far, man, you rock. Thanks for listening. Share this. Check out what I got going on on my different pages. Sambers hurt me knots. K-N-O-T-S for knots. Sambers hurt me knots. It is the perfect place for positivity of all types and open conversations about anything and everything y'all want to hear me talk about or want to talk about with me. As always, everybody, stay up. Stay sane. Stay happy. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, everybody. As always, stay safe. Stay sane. Stay happy. Stay healthy.